I'm Michael Fishback. I'm in the Department of Bioengineering and Therapeutic Sciences at uh, UCSF. Uh, and I'm the PI on a new grant from the Keck Foundation uh, that's titled Beyond the Human Microbiome Project, the Gut Microbiome as an Antibiotic Discovery Factory. The purpose of this grant is to try to, to begin figuring out a, an interesting conundrum that's only come about in recent years. And that is that different people have different kinds of bacteria living in their gut. And it turns out that that's really important because uh, there are correlations between the kind of bacteria you have living in your gut and diseases like Crohn's disease and obesity. So we're taking an interesting approach to looking at uh, why different people have different kinds of bacteria in their gut and that is to look at the bacteria themselves. The reason we're doing that is because bacteria, uh, among other things, make drugs. That might sound crazy, but in fact, many of the antibiotics and anti-cancer agents that people use in, in hospitals these days come from bacteria themselves. It turns out that it's not just crazy bacteria living on the corners of the planet that make these drugs, it's actually bacteria living on and inside of human beings, and that's a very recent finding that uh, we've had. And so the purpose of this grant is uh, for us to investigate which antibiotics are being made by specific bacteria living inside of different people's guts, and then to try to figure out what effect those antibiotics have on other bacteria living there and how all of that comes together to create a different community in me than in some of you. A project like this requires the, the, the dedicated efforts not just of someone like me but of a group of people with a wide range of areas of expertise and so I have three great collaborators on this project. The first one is Justin Sonnenberg from Stanford University. The second one is David Relman also from Stanford University and the third one is Peter Dorstein from UCSD. Our hope is that in the future, uh, given a, a greater understanding of why different people have one kind of bacterium in their gut versus another, that this will open the door to new drugs to treat conditions like Crohn's disease, where uh, probably the causative element is a combination of a change in human genetics and also a change in the bacteria that are present. If we can address both of those, then we'll be in much better position uh, to create an effective drug.